Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? I hope you are all doing well. Today, we have got a very small, very simple repair, so we are just gonna hop straight into it. Stick around. So, as always, we of course need our handy dandy toolkit here, and we need the part that we are replacing. This is the DC to motherboard um, interior cable adapter. And basically what happened is the person using this, it's hard to see. Well, it's not that hard to see. It is completely smashed in there, it's gone. Um, the, the plastic piece that would normally be on the interior, kind of um, buttressing everything, making sure it doesn't uh, squish down, is completely gone and all of the metal pins in there, all the contacts are bent and uh, broken. So that's exciting. Um, so yeah, we're gonna replace that and that honestly should be all of the issues fixed on this laptop. Very nice. Um, as you know, stickers do increase your clock speed, uh, 100 megahertz per sticker. So this uh, laptop owner, they know what they're doing. So this is a Dell 7470, but the same repair can be done on um, pretty much any of the 7000 series, uh, the, the E7000 Latitude series, as well as a lot of the 5000 series. Uh, it's a pretty pretty common repair. Um, the part I linked in the description below is just this particular part for this, but honestly, it's not too, too hard to find. Yay, fry tool. There we go. Easy enough. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws on the back of the laptop here. Pop all those out, and as always, they are captive in the 7470, one of the wonderful, wonderful improvements that Dell made over previous generations. Over here, tucked in the corner by the fan, we have this cable that we will be replacing today, our power cable. Uh, first things first though, we don't actually have to take the battery out, but definitely 100% unplug it, just so we're not trying to feed any power into the motherboard while we're messing around with these power parts. Um, this can be done without pulling the fan out, so we're going to do that today. We're going to do this whole thing without pulling the fan out. I'm going to center this and uh, punch in a little bit. Make the whole being a little easier to see. So um, the cables here, this is the um, LCD cable for the um, screen. So that is gonna run under the same little uh, plastic thing uh, on, attached to the fan shroud that the power cable does. So you're just gonna have to push that out of the way. Actually, it's a bad idea to be using metal screwdrivers in here. So if you have plastic of some sort, use it. If you are just gonna use metal, just please be careful. So we're just gonna pry both of those out from underneath that little plastic holding piece there, easy enough. And then we can just pull straight back. No clips, no uh, pinching, nothing like that, just straight out. And uh, all we have now is a single screw right there. We're gonna pop that out. That just holds this little DC in plate. Uh, it actually says DC in on it, so it's easy to identify. Take that out of the way. And there we go, there's our old part. And oh my goodness. So you can see that not only is the interior of this destroyed and smashed, the actual lead on the back um, is detached as well. So it's not even soldered on anymore. So there's no, it's just, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm only here to fix it, not ask what happened. So that is our old piece. That is done, gone, um, and uh, good riddance. Okay, so now we are going to take our new cable, slot it into place. Doesn't click or snap or anything like that, but it, it should stay in the general region there until we put our, uh, our retaining plate on, which we're gonna do now. Let's see. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, part and the plate, part and plate in place, 
drop our little retaining screw in here. Are you, are you, yeah, you're magnetic. Ugh. <laughs> Shouldn't be this hard. More just annoying than hard. There we go, okay. Screws in place, tighten that down all the way. Route this around the back. And plug it in, plug it in. The easiest way to do this, once you get it in there, if you can get a nail just on the white piece of the, of the plug here, just pull it forward. Very simple. Um, if you don't have nails like I do not, um, use a plastic spudger or a, a pry tool, something like that. And we're gonna tuck our cables back where they came from. Make sure that it is aligned with the hole. You see that plastic piece is in there properly now. And then make sure that when we start pushing on it, it's not just gonna fall out. Because I'm sure it's gonna take some abuse. All right, so before we throw the black back cover on here, of course, we want to test it, make sure that we are actually still functional. Um, so I have got my uh, power cord plugged in right here. And uh, da -da -da. there's no OS on this yet, so that's why I had to boot it up with this. Um, but yeah, so this is under power right now. I have the battery unplugged, so it's just running off this DC power. I just wanted to verify 100% that the DC power was properly functioning. Now, uh, if you do have any trouble with your laptop booting up after you do all this, if your battery is too dead, um, then it just won't boot up and you need to reset your SMC. Uh, the easiest way to do this is with it plugged in with the battery unplugged, just hold the power button down for about 30 seconds or so. Um, and then just tap it to turn it on and it should work just fine. So now that I'm very comfortable that yes, we do have power, we're all good to go there. I'm gonna throw the back of this back on, get windows loaded up and be done with it. Boom. Alrighty. So that's it. It was so simple, so easy. We didn't have to pay anybody to do it for us. We didn't have to pay for anything except for that small $12 part. Easy peasy, few screws and we're done. This is why I always say that even if you're not completely and totally confident that you can do this kind of repair immediately off the bat, at least look it up first because some of these things are so simple and they're going to save you potentially hundreds of dollars or even a new laptop. So, you know, I always say repair it yourself if you physically possibly can um, and that maybe that'll drive me out of business someday and that's fine, honestly everyone's repairing their own stuff, then I'll be perfectly happy. So as always, thank you so much for sticking around, guys. I really appreciate all the love you've been giving me lately. We are so close to that 100 mark on the subs, so do me a favor. If you're watching this video, you like tech stuff, repairs, reviews, anything like that, smack that subscribe button, hit the little bell next to it. That's going to let you know every two weeks uh, when I upload a new video. And definitely leave me a comment. Um, you know, let me know what kind of laptop repairs that you've been able to do yourself, save yourself some money, uh, or maybe even let me know some that you haven't been able to do yourself and had to send it away. So once again, thank you all a thousand times for being here. Appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.